All right, guys, this is Andrew Cowboy, and I'm here with the Kindle Fire uh, HDX. I want to show you guys how I actually have most of the Google apps uh, on here and working. Now, it actually doesn't require root, uh, so one word of warranty. You can simply just sideload these apps, uh, and I got most of the ones here working. Uh, not not everything is there, but most, most of the major ones are there. So first, Gmail is there, so that's pretty nice. You can get your Gmail on here uh, using the actual Gmail app. Uh, now, of course, uh, you can put Gmail through the default uh, email app on there as well but but uh, you can simply just sideload the Gmail app and that works uh, that works fine Google search is working now the Google now cards aren't it's a little finicky uh, but the search is working uh, even the voices we can show you here NFL scores so uh, as you can see the uh, Google uh, the Google search works and even remembers uh, it's connected to your account as well, so it remembers what you have searched as well. So that works. That works. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Um, nice thing is that a lot of the YouTube works, although the sign-in doesn't work. So you can get YouTube working, but uh, it's not connecting to the account. So if you have subscriptions, that part of it doesn't work. But otherwise, you can use YouTube. Um, you can also have uh, what's really nice is Google Play Magazine and books and music works. So there's Google Music. Uh, got that all working. Uh, that works fine. Uh, as well as uh, Google Play Magazine, for example. Here we go, Google Magazine. There's my subscriptions. Um, that works. Google Play Books also works here. So there you go, Google Play Books works. And just to show you, here it is. Got my Dan Brown's Angels and Demons. Um, so that's uh, working as well here. Let's see, get out of here. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Chrome, of course. Chrome is no problem. That works and that connects to your account as well. So it can remember, uh, for example, if I go to bookmarks here, you can see it actually is going to have my, um, my desktop bookmark. So that's connected to my account. That works as well. So this is pretty nice. Uh, the only thing that's not working right now is Hangouts doesn't work and Google Plus doesn't work. Um, and so those are the two that's not working. And again, with Google search, the Google Now cards uh, uh, aren't exactly uh, working. Uh, but but the Google Now is actually connected to your account. So if you go into your settings, it actually has your stuff in here. For example, like it has all my information with the sports that I have. Uh, it's just that the cards aren't showing up right now here. Um, but you will get the notifications. So the notifications are working. So that's pretty nice. So this now makes the Kindle uh, a pretty nice uh, media consumption device because not only do you have access to all the Amazon stuff, videos, music, and movies, and books, but you also have access to the uh, Google stuff. So that's really nice. Uh, and uh, it's pretty easy to do. Um, all you have to do is first follow the, the, the first link in the description of this video has uh, the directions so you can add your Google account. And then once you have a Google account, visit the second link, and under the Google section, you'll see all the Google apps. So you need to download those and just install those, whichever ones uh, you want. So that's all you have to do. And again, the links are in the description. And so uh, again, this doesn't require root. Now, Play Store doesn't work. We'll probably that will probably require root, and we'll we'll uh, that'll be coming up in an upcoming video, hopefully once I test that out. So hope you guys enjoy your Kindle Fire HDX now. You can get your Google Apps on there along with all the Amazon stuff. So you have a really nice uh, tablet. And be sure to subscribe to our channels. We'll be bringing you more stuff on the Kindle Fire HDX.